Hello everyone, my name is Robert Pratton and uh, I wanted to share with you some of the fun things that we've been doing uh, at Conductor to create pervasive entertainment experiences. So what I mean by that is uh, taking stories into the real world. Now, first up, I wanted to introduce you to uh, NFC. Now, NFC uh, stands for Near Field Communication and um, you can buy them on Amazon but also in your local kind of electronics store like Maplin in the UK or um, Radio Shack, I imagine, has them too. Um, these uh, little tags can store data. Now, it could be that they store an email or uh, a text message, and uh, what we've been doing at Conductor is using it to store uh, an API trigger for the Conductor platform. So you can encode these in a certain way, and it will send a signal to Conductor about which character to interact with, what uh, special um, match phrase to, um, to tell it to interact upon. So in the uh, Android store, in the Google Play store, you'll find this app, it's called uh, C-Touch. And it's look, you would give this app, or give your players download this app, and set them off in, around a particular location. It could be just a sitting room, or it could be you know, a city, looking for particular markers. So here's, um, here's uh, some kind of like live experience. It's called the zombie apocalypse. It could be that in this experience there are certain quarantine zones or um, sort of like health recharge zones, things of this nature. And um, they would look for sort of flyers or particular types of posters. And then using their phone, they would come and touch in and that would update their health or uh, it would count towards their team uh, check in at that location a certain number of times. Now, with the um, with the C Touch app, something we've done is um, this is another example. So here's a light bulb, and on the back I've got an NFC tag. So if I can work out how to use this uh, back to front. So here I've got the light bulb. I'm scanning the light bulb, and I felt the phone vibrate. I'm looking at the phone now. It says the tag's been registered. Uh, correctly. It's now sending an API call to conductor, a text message is confirmed back to my phone and then this light has gone on <laughs> and if I want to turn that light off then maybe I look for another uh, flyer like this and I scan the phone again and so I felt it vibrate, I know it's uh, tagged. Again a different API call, this tag's been encoded in a different way. The light's gone off and at some point I'll get a message back on the there it is there. So what you notice there is that there is a delay in the mobile network between you know, getting a signal from the player um, to um, a particular device perhaps. So because what we're using, and this is the next piece of uh, fun equipment, so I found these uh, power supplies that are SMS enabled. So you can send uh, instructions to the power plug to tell it to turn on and off. Now I know that there are other, there are all kinds of home automation equipment, um, but uh, if you're not a coder or if you're a little bit sort of scared or anything like that, then um, these work quite well because they just work on text messages, which most people are familiar. And uh, what we've did, uh, done is bought a prepaid SIM, just stuck it in the back, and uh, then this turns one. I've bought two, <laughs> so this one's been turned on off with the other one. Also, what's cool is this comes with a little. Uh, temperature sensor, so you can inquire the, um, you can sort of text the device and have it send back a temperature reading, which you can use in conductor to tell the story um, again, uh, or uh, in other ways. One last uh, other piece of kit. This is uh, Twine, and it remember this little device remembers its orientation and whether you're shaking it or not and uh, it will also send back temperature. <clears throat> so what we've done is, for example, you could embed it inside this little prop. I've cut open the back of this poor teddy bear so that I can fit this uh, device, oops, <laughs> fit this device in. And then, um, anybody discovering this little toy, if they play with it, if they shake it, you will know that this has been moved in some way, you'll be able to test the temperature. And this, again, can send an instruction to a conductor. Now, the Twine does need um, an internet connection. It works off the local Wi-Fi, and it is a little bit, um, 
Well, it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit fiddly to set up the Wi-Fi network, to be honest. Um, but um, with the NFC tags, you also need some kind of like 3G connection, but at least um, at, le at least not necessarily Wi-Fi. So uh, so that's that. I hope you'll um, join us in experimenting with some real-world uh, tags and triggers.